The IDEP is the independent design engineering project. The goal is to find some problem that has been poorly addressed and to design a solution that in some way, shape or form attempts to address it. When both of us decided to work together, we started brainstorming for a while. And then luckily, one of us took a class that looked at humanitarian innovation. And one thing that stood out was the number of unaccompanied minors and separated children that come out of conflict. There are about 150 million displaced individuals worldwide. Of those individuals, about 50% are children. And of those 50%, we actually have data that over 90% of those children have parents who are alive, but they just don't know where they are. Because it was largely under-addressed, we just thought it was the perfect kind of problem to look at within the program, because it could be tackled from both a design and, and like engineering and research sense. A huge obstacle that we had to get over was just finding a refugee camp that would let us work with them for a while. It entirely came to life because of the contacts we had in Cambridge. So where we went to was Bidi Bidi camp in Uganda. It's the second largest refugee camp in the world. It's the largest one in Africa. It was an incredible experience because we went there during our winter break. We spoke to over 100 refugees. We conducted workshops, co-creation sessions, and over those weeks, we were able to design something with them that now we've come back to Cambridge and we're building out and we're testing with them. A critical part was understanding that right now, NGOs look at it in a Western way by saying that, okay, I can find, find a family member by knowing your name, your age, your gender, um, and maybe your last name, if you, if you remember that. But you're a child, you don't remember these things. We started moving from a bio data match of like, things that often work maybe in Western countries to moving to a culture match. So instead, we're conceiving of a, a platform that aggregates hundreds of different questions that are answerable in the form yes, no, maybe, maybe not, or I don't know. Uh, things like, were there rivers near your house? Was the color of your uniform at school red, blue, green, etc.? I think that our initial steps are to have a, a launch platform that has like a, a V1 before graduation essentially so that it can be maintained by a combination of ourselves and uh, some NGOs that we're currently in contact with. But ideally, I think it's a project that we're both very passionate about and would like to see out beyond the end of the program.